Hi Sag, this is Aqua Goddess. Welcome to your bonus read. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be in our description box below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. Please join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure that you guys hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified for your live videos and also the future uploads. For anyone returning, welcome back family and thank you so much for all your continued support. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high, please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 25 billion fold. And for anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody who really is on your last nerve. All right, I got to be honest. Um, this person's feeling lonely right now, but when they had you, they sabotaged this connection because they felt like they couldn't open up to you emotionally. Um, they couldn't express their true feelings to you. Um, this person feels like emotions overwhelm them. Some of you guys are dealing with a, a King of Cups reversed, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this person is very emotionally available because they have abandonment issues. This person is asking, will you leave me like the others? They may have even technically asked you this and you were like, I don't understand what you mean. This person is broken inside and they need to, to, to do some, some healing. All right. They're saying that they were hurt by you. But they messed up everything. And the reason why they're saying that they were hurt by you, because you said you couldn't do it no more. You can't do it. They don't understand you. They're hurting you. They're taking you through these weird experiences where it's like you're with them, but then you're not. They're emotionally closed off. It's too confusing. Hmm. believe that was the ten of swords that fell i'm not sure but so this person definitely could have betrayed you and they may try to cut that part out or not discuss what really happened oh a choice in love somebody that they work with taurus virgo capricorn energy hmm You couldn't understand why this person was even trying to... It's like you got everything to offer. Um, you, you, you're you whole within yourself. You got seeds that you're planting. Pre-Empress energy. And then here's the Empress. Yeah, you're, you're moving along. You're growing. You're developing. You're building. You're investing. You're attractive. And this person still wanted to explore their options with these floozies. They wanted to, to give to, to multiple people. Hmm. That's what you can't do. Be in this, third, in this third party energy with this three of swords. You're not about to deal with that. So a lot of y'all blocked this person. And now they want to talk. All right. What does this person want to talk about? <laughs> this is how you got this person feeling. They really don't want to talk about nothing, but they having a hard time being without you. Could be a Gemini or Aquarius. They're depressed. Because they cannot stop thinking about you. And then it's like, you so humble with it. But look at them. 
And they're even more stressed because you're growing even more and more and more. Whatever you're doing at work, your goals, your, I don't know, your entrepreneurship for some of you guys, you're, you're making it happen. You're creating a lot of opportunities for yourself. Taking risks, being very bold, courageous in your energy. Hmm. They want to avoid conflict and you want to avoid conflict too. You're in this energy where you're just humble. Are you 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 and your peace? But somebody wants to apologize because this person can't help it. They they feeling like dang I, I really messed up everything. Hmm. Oh so So look, let me tell you this. Some of y'all got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag, a friend, and like this person could have even flirted with your friend, or or your friend, your friend flirted with them, like being extra, or somebody you know, or somebody that they're telling you is their friend, and you and you could be hanging out with this person thinking that they cool, they like family. Mm -mm. Negative. Wow. All right. Hmm. What is this person? What would this individual like to say to my Sagittarius? I wish I could take back my words. I wish I could share my good news with you. I can't stop thinking about you. What is this good news? We both know I am not the one for you. So it's like, this person know, and it's saying the timing just wasn't right for us. We need to let each other go. But I replay our conversations in my head over and over again. So the good news is that this person is learning from their lessons. I mean, and also they're acknowledging the fact that they don't feel like they're good for you. They know that they have some work to do. They wish that things could be different, but this person, confirmation, um, they are grateful for the spiritual lesson. It was it was their fault, but they blame you instead. All right. So, yeah, um, those are the messages that I got for your bonus for you today. If you guys like this reading, make sure that you thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.